Hi everyone, it's Miss Teresa from the Ridgewood Public Library. I hope everyone's having a great day and doing well. Big hello to everyone out there. Today's stories are about elephants. Elephants are big, like my big hello wave, right? Yeah, really big with big floppy ears. Let's do a little song about elephants that you may know already. Okay, an elephant goes like this and like that. He's terribly big and he's terribly strong. He has no fingers and he has no toes, but oh my goodness, what a nose. And what do elephants like to do with their big nose, their trunk? They can scoop up food, right? Scoop it up and put it right in their mouths. Sometimes you might see an elephant take a whole watermelon and go in one big gulp and eat it up. Yummy. Mmm. Elephants love fruit. And that's what our book is about. Our first book is about elephants who love fruit. That Fruit is Mine is the title by Anuska Alipaz. And we're going to see what kind of fruit the elephants like to eat. And I'm going to put it up on the board here as we go along. Deep in the heart of the jungle live five elephants. In that jungle grew lots of fruit. The elephants loved fruit. Elephant one munched on mangoes. Mangoes. Elephant two craved coconuts. Brown on the outside, white on the inside. Elephant three was keen on kiwis. Our kiwis, green on the inside. Elephant four banqueted on bananas. What color are bananas? Yellow. And elephant five preferred pineapples. Like elephant five. We carry them on the tip of his trunk. Here's our pineapples. Oh, look at all that delicious fruit up there. But one day, deep, deep in the heart of the jungle, the elephants discovered a new tree. A very tall new tree. There's that tree. And on that very tall tree was the most delicious exotic looking fruit. The elephants had ever seen. Everyone wanted to eat it. They're all going towards the tree. Hey, look at that. There's five mice who also see the tree. Mine, cried Elephant One. That fruit is mine. She knew that she could reach it. She huffed and she puffed with all her might. And the mice are going up too. One, two, three, four, five. Up, up, up. Puff. That fruit didn't move an itty bitty inch. Heave, ho, one, two, three, four, five, up, up, up. They're starting to climb. Mine, said Elephant Two, that fruit is mine. She knew that she had a very smart idea. She could already taste that sweet, sweet fruit. Keep stretching. The mice are going up a little bit. They're starting to climb. And she made a little parachute for herself out of a leaf to fly. Humph! <sighs> well, maybe her idea needed a little more work. And there are the mice. Look, a humongous bug! As they're climbing up the tree. They see the elephant number two. Mine, shouted elephant three. That fruit is mine. He knew that he was cleverer than Elephant One and Elephant Two. So, 
with a heave and a stretch, he started to climb, just like the mice. Not far to go now. One, two, three, four, five, up, up, up. Huff, he didn't get very far at all. I can almost reach, says one of the mice. Nice try. Help. Elephant two is still flying through the air. The elephants were getting very impatient and very hungry. Elephant four decided to just run at the tree as fast as he could. Mine. Mine, said the elephants all at once. But at that very moment, the delicious looking exotic fruit began to move. <gasps> Look, it's moving. The fruit is moving. The mice got one down. I beg your pardon, as they're climbing over an elephant's head. Now the delicious looking exotic fruit belonged to the five mice who carried it together. This fruit is ours, the five mice said. The elephants looked on, astonished. Ours, said the elephant. Hooray, we've got the fruit. As they're carrying it away, they got a pear. Ours, said the elephants all at once. Why didn't we think of that? Huff and a puff. Ours, huff and a heave. Ours, stretch. Three of the elephants are pushing down on the tree branches. And one, look, looks like he's grabbing it with his trunk. This fruit is ours. And that's how deep, deep in the heart of the jungle, the elephants finally got their delicious looking exotic fruit. Weren't there five of us? Mine! She's still flying through the air. Ours! She landed and look who she's with. The mice who have the pair and they're sharing it with the elephant who was flying around. Yay, that's great teamwork. The mice were able to get a pear down from the pear tree, they worked together and the elephants saw how they did it and they followed along and they worked as a group and as a team and they were able to get some pears down too. Yay. What a nice story. Okay, our second story about elephants is about one elephant. His name is Phil. Here he is, Hiding Phil by Eric Barkley. How do you hide an elephant? Elephants are very big. Let's see what they do. Here's Phil of the bus. Look, an elephant! At the bus stop. His name is Phil. Come play with us, Phil. Bubble bath. Mom and Dad will love Phil. Uh oh. We must hide Phil.
He's too big. He won't fit. Whisper, whisper, whisper. Little house they built. It's too small. Oh, fuck. Raking leaves. Ah, ah, chew. Oh, no. They work so hard to hide Bill in a big pile of leaves. They were so happy. And then what happened? Bill sneezes. Club. Clubhouse. Perfect. Hmm. Is that an elephant? His name is Phil. We have to take him back where you found him. Phil's always welcome to visit. Children are sad. Back to the bus stop. Whisper, whisper, whisper. Goodbye, Phil. Kids. We've decided Phil can stay. Stop the bus. We're too late. He's gone. Woof, woof, woof. We love you, Phil. Oh, yay. The children get to keep Phil as part of their family. What a great story. Yay, they work together as a team to hide Phil from their parents. But their parents realized how much they love Phil and said, Phil can stay. Yay. So two great books about elephants. I hope you enjoyed them today and have a great day. Bye everyone. See you soon at the library. Have a great day.